Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, thanks so much for stopping by, I do appreciate it. Guys, today's beer comes from Equilibrium Brewing. This is Can It Be All So Simple. This was sent to me by Matt, and these guys are out of New York. Uh, Equilibrium. And this is uh, a double IPA, Imperial IPA, coming in at a whopping 8.2%. So, very, very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, says, can it be all so simple, aka C I B A S S, returns today? We revisit the shirt. And from what I've seen uh, uh, over on Beer Advocate, or I'm not Beer Advocate, but on Untapped, when I scanned it in, it had several different versions of the same thing so I looked at them all and I think this is the the most recent release but I can't be sure of that because the date is supposed to be here on the corner and it's been rubbed off uh, uh, that's a, a problem when it's on the label and the label slick and your fingers run across it sometimes it can wipe it off but I think this is batch four which is their most recent most recent uh, version of it and looking at some of the other comments uh, it says here 2222 was stamped on this first review here so I'm not real sure guys uh, if this is the last batch maybe Matt knows whether it's batch 4 or, or not or he has another can that has a date that can be seen uh, I don't know it's not it's not on the can anywhere. Where it looks like it was, it's got a little white spot on one end and a little white spot on the other, and I can't see what was there before. So, it's what it is. So, we're going to give it a whirly gig. Alright, over to Untab. It says, CIBASS returns day. We visit the shared brewing philosophies to bring back our very first collab in its original form. We turned off the EQ juice and brewed it just like the first time around with our hand selected mosaic and galaxy at an even hoppier rate. Pouring a hazy and vivid yellow, CIBASS released pure hop expression of bright notes of dull pineapple juice, tropical citrus, blueberry, and aroma that mirrors the balance and drinkable taste. All right, no, I, no IBUs are given. We do know it's 8.2 percent. So let's get it in the glass. Very hazy, very cloudy. All right, early twirl. All right, can it be oh, so simple? And we got definitely two fingers of head on that poor guys. Very nice. It's like a dirty orange juice color. Uh, pretty hazy, pretty cloudy guys. I mean that's uh, that's a looking like to me a New England style beer. And they're in New York, so uh, we shall see. To the nose we go. Yeah, I get pineapple. Oranges, mango, did I say pineapple? Maybe a grapefruit. Smells awesome. Got a very, very pleasant aroma. Oh, let's dive in guys. Cheers everybody. Cheers Matt. I do appreciate it sir. Very nice. I'm getting melons in the taste. Big time melon. Yeah, 
I'm definitely getting a melon taste in there, guys. Back end. Going in, swirly swirl. I don't think there's going to be any particulates or floaties in there. We got it all. Alright, it is time. Let's go sip on it. Be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Awesome lacing is left on the glass here, guys. Super citrusy. Oranges. I'm getting melons. Not so much on the nose, but definitely on the palate. That's a very tasty beer. I would buy this beer, guys, if I could see the date on it. I mean, just an ideal double IPA. It's New England style. Very tasty. But I definitely get a melon. I get a melon taste to that, so very enjoyable. Found you. Maybe a little more than a final choke. That is smooth and easy drinking for an 8.2%. Well made. We're not going to leave any of that in the bottom of that glass. Super tasty, guys. I mean, it is worthy. Uh, it's a shame this one had the date rubbed off of, but again, maybe uh, maybe Matt has more information than he'll put in the, uh, the comments there because uh, I can't read it on this one. So, uh, to me guys, uh, it's an A minus beer. I'm going to give it, it, they attempted to make the date on there. It just got rubbed off. So, uh, I'm going to give it to 90 anyway. So, uh, tasty, enjoyable. And also on the label here, it's got a, it's got a, a QR code, if you will, there that you can scan. It's probably going to give you more information. And, most people nowadays got a smartphone that can scan those and probably straight to their website and tell you the ABV and the last batch and all that stuff. I, I very, very rarely go to the websites of the beers uh, to because, uh, well, they're a little biased usually on what they're telling you it is, but, you know, that's just my opinion. Uh, I try not to be influenced by the people that make the beer, but anyway. It is what it is. Over to Beer Advocate. They say 96 world class. So they're giving it a better grade than I'm giving it. Uh, and I wouldn't argue with that grade one bit, Gus. I mean, this beer could be a 10 to a lot of people. I mean, depending on where your palate is and what you like, if you really like that melon taste that I'm getting, uh, yeah, I mean, just because I didn't give it a 10, you might. So, I mean, Give it a whirl. I mean, pick up one if you can, and if you like it, you can always buy more. All right, over to Untapped. They have 4.12. That's also in their A minus range, so it's definitely a solid A beer, whether it's A minus, A, or A plus in somebody's opinion. Uh, and there are people that have gave it uh, a very solid 10 or A plus grade on the reviews. So. Uh, don't base what you're going to buy about what I tell you. If I say it's decent, if if you like the style that I'm reviewing, you may like it depending on where your palate is. Uh, but this beer could have been or is a 10 to a lot of people. It, it could be a 10 to me a few years back. But uh, it's worthy. I would buy it if I could get it here. If I could see a date on it. I enjoyed it. 4.12 is... Uh, all A's guys, so A A A. So it is definitely worth seeking out. And if you've had it, let me know what you think. I said they're calling this batch four, but I don't see that info on the label. They, I would like to see the batch number somewhere. Either you know, a lot of them stamp it that on the, underneath the bottom where they stamp the dates and stuff instead of putting it on the label. But I would like to know that way. You know. You definitely know you got the, the batch number you're looking at instead of batch three or two, you know. Especially if you're not buying it and somebody's sending it to you. Hopefully they're sending you fresh beers, but you never know if you can't read the date on it. Uh, I've had this beer a couple of years, well, let me send it to somebody. No, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. But anyway, guys, if you've had it, let me know what you think. Till we meet again.
Let's go see what's in the fridge. I think we got one more from Matt in there for tomorrow. See you then.